communication and it was known to me that uh, they were, the Secret Service was searching through the crowd, uh, clearly looking for me. My name is William Kostrick and I moved to New Hampshire three days before Porkfest 2008. I think I was doing some research um, uh, on the Gulf War, looking at, I, I came across the Free State Project forums and the New Hampshire Underground, and I'd gotten to some conversations there about war and foreign policy, and uh, that's how I found the Free State Project. I stumbled on the forums first. I thought it was a good idea. I think I was in the 3,000-ish um, first signers. No state had been chosen. We got to the 5,000 and voted. Uh, New Hampshire was not among my three picks, but uh, it was definitely the right choice. Uh, I, looking back, I don't think uh, uh, the other states would have worked out as well. Um, kind of Alaska and Wyoming were at the top of my choices. I wasn't really sure after that I was going to move. Uh, it took a long time. Uh, once New Hampshire was chosen, you know, a lot of people that didn't want to move dropped out. I think we dropped almost back down to 3,000 and then started the slow climb back up. And uh, they missed the first deadline. I pretty much presumed that the project was dead. I was making plans to leave the country. Uh, I mean, I'd been following the movement from a distance for quite a while, the Lauren Canario and, and uh, Kent Russell Canning and, and um, Free Talk Live and the, the whole uh, scene, such as, uh, such as it was of the people who had started moving. And you know, I figured I can leave the country from New Hampshire as good as anywhere else, so may as well check it out before I go. And uh, so that was seven and a half years ago, six and a half years ago. Still here. Uh, there's been a lot of projects, a lot of uh, video recording, um, court cases, checkpoint protests, uh, a, lot of, a lot of stuff in Concord. One of the great things is that there is su such a wide variety of activism to choose from. You can find something that uh, fits your style, and even if you're not sure, you can show up to an event, feel it out, see if it's something that you want to keep doing. But probably the most important thing uh, that I've contributed to is the quill. Um, we had uh, Taproom Tuesdays, but as time went on, uh, there, were, there were issues at various locations. We tried different locations, people's houses and so forth, and it was just clear that we needed our own space. And so that was the beginning of it. It's kind of grown. Uh, into more than that, but it's a community center and a place for activists to come and do projects like this. Um, the town hall. We start with these town hall meetings, including the one the president had today in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. William Kostrick's a protester who came to the town hall meeting today with a gun. I had posted in the forums that uh, someone should do an open carry event out there, and they said, uh, I got a lot of responses like, uh, that's crazy. I think Justin Raimundo wrote uh, an article about uh, how I was destroying libertarianism or something crazy like that, um, which I find hilarious given the outcome. I also find it hilarious how many times that particular argument has come up into in, in regards to other people's activism that people don't even remember anymore. I decided uh, since nobody else was going to do it, I was going to do it. And uh, some other folks decided they were going to uh, do it also. But when we got out there and um, with, with the, the crowd and, and the security and everything, uh, they were having second thoughts, uh, which is completely understandable uh, because there is uh, some, a federal law about carrying in the vicinities of schools. The original federal statute had been overturned as being unconstitutional because obviously people live within a thousand feet of a school, so you can't just make anyone who lives within a thousand feet of a school an instant felon because they have a firearm in their house. Uh, so they repassed a new law, uh, which is probably also unconstitutional but hasn't been uh, challenged, right? So you're taking kind of your future in your hands. Do you want to be the person to test that case? Because that's going to be possibly years and tens of thousands of dollars um, if you're the one to, to actually test it out. We were in radio communication and it was known to me that uh, they were, the Secret Service was searching through the crowd, uh, clearly looking for me. Um, so when they found me, they kind of stood back and one of the Portsmouth police detectives approached me and uh, 
we had a great conversation. Uh, it's on YouTube. He said I couldn't be there. I said that I could be there. We had a, a, a back and forth. Uh, he ended up getting on the phone with the police chief, who I think got on the phone with the uh, town attorney, and they had this whole powwow going on. Um, finally, the, the end result of their phone conference was that you may be right, and what you're doing may be legal, but what we're going to do is ask you to leave, so now if you don't leave, we're going to arrest you for trespassing. So that's always their, their fallback catch-all. They've got these, you know, disorderly or failure to, to follow in order. They've got all these little catch-alls that even if what you're doing is perfectly legal and they just kind of bypass it. So at that point, um, I had already uh, had some interviews. We'd already done our protest. I wasn't uh, going to stick around and, and get arrested. And uh, we were walking away from the school property. We're still on school property when his phone rang and it was the police chief who had gotten a call from his uh, bishop. Uh, there was a church right next to the school. The bishop, I guess, had been following the situation on the news, called the police chief who went to his church and told him that he was giving me permission to stand on church property. And the police chief called the detective and the detective told me, so they escorted me directly from the school property to the church property, which was well within the thousand feet of the school, obviously, but then on private property with permission. So they decided to, uh, to, to leave it there. My, my advice to someone considering moving to New Hampshire would be to do it as quickly as possible. Indeed, I, I came with the idea that uh, I could leave from New Hampshire as good as anywhere else. I've been here, I've stayed, obviously, and uh, the reason for that is definitely the community. It's, uh, there are some other activist pockets throughout the country, uh, Austin, Denver, etc., but nothing compared to New Hampshire.